as some of you might know from my Instagram update, our family is moving out of the Pasadena area where we have lived for the last 11 years. When we shared our news with our family and friends, we got many surprise looks because we have loved living in a house and garden so much. And I am a huge believer in appreciating where we are and what we have instead of wanting more. At the same time, I'm also an advocate for listening to our intuition and instincts. And imagine what would happen to the world if caterpillars stayed being caterpillars instead of transforming into butterflies. That was the kind of inner force and the sense of readiness Frida and I felt when we decided. It also felt like a good timing as many elements in our lives are much slower um, and we actually have a little more buffer zone to go through this process without feeling rushed. We have a few big steps ahead. Our first temporary stop is at my parents' house in Orange County, about an hour away from Pasadena, until we find our next home. And because we're living and staying with my mom for a while, we're putting our belongings in a storage place, which has been an interesting process. What objects in our lives are worth keeping in storage while paying a monthly fee? Quickly, we realized that we are not very attached to many large pieces of furniture such as couch and coffee table and small household objects we own for just in case like extra silverwares, pots and pans, many cups. We deeply assessed what object feels rooted in our souls and what we have been truly using instead of planning to use. How much we own and how little we actually need is a constant dialogue and what we're learning through this process is how spacious our life can feel when we can be mindful of those two points, push and pull. As our moving day approaches, we have lived with fewer things and our experience of living feels lighter and more intentional. And that is what I hope we will bring to a future home, the sense of light and intention. <laughs>